In April vacation of 2020, the young journalist of U News 2020, a journalist came from SCAT TV in collaboration with Citizen Schools, sought out to find the importance of fake news, especially now amid COVID-19. They spoke with Councilman Matt McLaughlin on the subject. Well, the problem is you can't prevent fake news. Uh, that's what's difficult about it, because even when you're a liar, uh, there's still free speech uh, aspects to it. And uh, the, the concept of libel, which, you know, you can sue someone for printing lies, um, there's a very high threshold for that. So the only way you can't get rid of fake news, especially with the Internet, where you don't have to be a news source to put this information out. You can someone can post a meme and that meme becomes facts to people. Um, so the way you have to combat it is as individuals, you have to look up their information that's being provided to you and just not take everything at face value. Uh, don't think that because it's in print or because it's a meme that it's true. Um, you should ask where, what is the source of this information? Uh, what are scientists actually saying? Uh, and, you know, there, there's plenty of solid information out there. You, you, people should check, especially if you're on the Internet, look at the link uh, to the story and see what other stories that newspaper is putting out. And if that newspaper has a reputation of putting out false information or inaccurate information or another website contradicts that, then, yeah, unfortunately, like people have to be vigilant and uh, be very cynical. Um, that's the hardest thing. I think a lot of people, I'm a cynical person by nature, and a lot of people are just very trusting. Um, so they assume like, I'm not a liar, so you're not a liar either. But there are liars out there, and you have to just be aware of the fact that not everybody is honest, not everybody uh, is telling the truth, and not everybody knows what they're talking about. Some people spread information again, thinking that it's helpful, but they're just not aware that that's inaccurate. I used to work for the city of Somerville's Health and Human Services Department. And even before coronavirus, we always like to make sure that people knew real news and not fake news, because fake news can be very dangerous and very confusing. And kids and everyone else have a right to accurate scientific information to help keep everyone safe. And I've already had a few examples of fake news uh, impacting people that I know. And they're not, it's sometimes they're intelligent people that I was very surprised um, thought the things I thought. I had a guy who is, he, he, he has an important job. He's, not a he, he is an intelligent person and he texted me one day and said hey if you hold your breath for 10 seconds if you're able to hold your breath for 10 seconds then that means you don't have coronavirus um and that was just absolutely not true and this guy thought that meant he was safe um and spread that information as if it was helpful um so that's an example of fake news really impacting you because of so much different news out there about coronavirus, some of the students decided to ask their friends and family members what is fact and what is fiction. Does taking anti-malaria drugs um, keep you safer from coronavirus? It does not appear to be the case, no. So, question one, do anti-malaria drugs, ibuprofen, social distancing, or flu no... Pneumonia <clears throat> vaccines help with staying safe from coronavirus. Congratulations. True or false? You can get the coronavirus from products shipped overseas. False. Correct. There's no evidence of that being the case. No. You're correct. Voice in the answer? Yes. Okay. 5G causes coronavirus. That is definitely false. Vodka helps fight the coronavirus. False, but it tastes Correct. good and might make you feel better. Well, but that's not the point. Question four. Can hand dryers be effective in killing the new coronavirus? No, but they're helpful to dry your hands after you use lots of soap and water. No. No. Okay. You are correct again. That is fake yeah. news. Yes, that is fake news. Thank you. We also asked... 
advice for people who consume media and people who put out media. This is what they had to say. When there's a big disease all around the world, like the current pandemic, it's more important than ever that people can trust their news source and that journalists ask helpful questions and get accurate information. Okay. You know, people should question everything they're told and not believe everything they read. And it makes things very difficult, but it's also really important to just not take everything at face value. Even the things that, especially sometimes the things that you want to believe and the things that um, agree with your values, you have to question those sometimes because they, it might not be accurate. 